Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's often overlooked, but incredibly important. The dangers of excess kindness. Kindness is a virtue we all admire and strive to embody. However, there's a fine line between being kind and being overly accommodating. Stick around as we explore how excess kindness can actually lead to negative consequences in your life. Section 1. Understanding Excess Kindness Kindness is a fundamental part of human interaction. It's about being considerate, empathetic, and helpful to others. But what happens when kindness is taken to the extreme? Excess kindness, or being overly kind, occurs when your efforts to help and please others start to overshadow your own needs and well-being. Section 2. The Root of Excess Kindness Excess kindness often stems from a deep-seated fear of rejection. Many people exhibit excess kindness because they fear being disliked or rejected. They believe that constantly saying yes and putting others first will make them more likable and accepted. This desire for approval can drive individuals to go above and beyond in their kindness. They crave validation and think that being excessively kind will earn them respect and admiration. Insecurity often fuels excess kindness. People may feel that they aren't good enough on their own and use kindness as a way to compensate for their perceived shortcomings. Section 3. The Consequences of Excess Kindness Continuously putting others before yourself can lead to emotional burnout. You might feel drained, unappreciated, and overwhelmed by the constant demands on your time and energy. When you're always focused on pleasing others, you can lose sight of your own needs, desires, and goals. Your identity becomes intertwined with the expectations of those around you. Excess kindness can enable toxic behavior in others. By constantly accommodating and tolerating negative actions, you might unintentionally encourage harmful habits in those you're trying to help. Over time, being excessively kind can lead to feelings of resentment and frustration. You might start to feel that others are taking advantage of your kindness, which can damage relationships. Section 4. Real Life Examples of Excess Kindness Let's talk about Jane, a dedicated employee who never says no. She's always taking on extra tasks and covering for her colleagues. While she believes she's being a team player, Jane is constantly stressed and exhausted, with no time for herself. Then there's John, the friend everyone relies on. He's always available to lend a hand or an ear, but rarely asks for help in return. Over time, John feels taken for granted and starts to pull away from his friends, feeling isolated and unappreciated. Lastly, consider Sarah, who's in a relationship where she's always putting her partner's needs first. She compromises on her own happiness to keep her partner content. Eventually, Sarah realizes she's lost her sense of self and feels trapped in the relationship. Section 5 how to recognize excess kindness in yourself. If you find it difficult to say no, even when you're overwhelmed, it's a sign that you might be exhibiting excess kindness. Prioritizing others to the point where your own needs are ignored is a clear indicator of excessive kindness. Regularly feeling resentful or unappreciated suggests that you're giving more than you're comfortable with. If the thought of disappointing someone causes you significant stress, you may be overly concerned with being kind. Section 6. Strategies to Balance Kindness and Self-Care Learn to set clear, healthy boundaries. Understand that it's okay to say no and prioritize your own well-being. Regularly check in with yourself to understand your limits and recognize when you're overextending. Treat your time as a valuable resource. Allocate time for yourself and your own interests without feeling guilty. Surround yourself with people who respect and value your boundaries. Communicate your needs openly and seek support when necessary. Be kind to yourself. Practice self-compassion and recognize that taking care of yourself is not selfish, but necessary for your overall well-being. Section 7. The Benefits of Balanced Kindness 
By setting boundaries and prioritizing self-care, your relationships can become more balanced and fulfilling. People will respect you more for valuing your own needs. Balancing kindness with self-care leads to improved mental and emotional health. You'll feel more energized, less stressed, and more content. When you focus on your own needs and goals, you create space for personal growth and development. You'll become more in tune with who you are and what you want from life. Conclusion Kindness is a beautiful and essential part of being human, but excess kindness can quickly lead to negative consequences. By recognizing the signs of excessive kindness and implementing strategies to balance it with self-care, you can improve your well-being and lead a more fulfilling life. Remember, it's okay to prioritize yourself and set boundaries. Your well-being matters just as much as anyone else's. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or experiences on this topic. We'd love to hear from you. And there you have it, folks. A detailed exploration of how excess kindness can ruin your life and what you can do to find a healthier balance. Stay kind, but don't forget to be kind to yourself too. Until next time, take care.